So Ruth Ann, what's the stink about dog breath? And does it mean there's a problem with my dog? Yeah, that's a great question because dog breath and dental disease in our dogs is super common. Like 70 to 80% of dogs over the age of three have some sort of dental disease, which is what causes that dog breath, right? So it's the bacteria in their mouths that then produces tartar, that then turns into plaque and gets pretty gnarly. It not only puts their mouth at risk, um, but also can put the rest of their body at risk. That bacteria can spread to their heart and their kidneys and all of that um, and make them really sick. And then when you think about our sporting dogs, they need a healthy mouth to be able to hold on to that bird and bring it back to us so that they can be out there with us in the field. So dog breath is the start, oftentimes the sign of some other more serious dental disease that can be going on. But it also can be if it changes really quickly like it's a an okay stink if there is something like that and then it gets really bad that could be a sign of a severe infection in their mouth or maybe something else going on bigger in a different organ in their body so sometimes you know it's it's hard to know um, if there's you know something super serious going on in their mouth so i talk to my clients a lot about getting their dog comfortable with having their hands in their mouths and so that way you can you can lift up their lip and you can check along the gum line uh, and like emma here she's She's eight, so you know she's got some tartar buildup there um, that I would certainly talk to the owner about maybe getting a dental, uh, a true dental cleaning. But the other fun thing is there are things called functional treats. So they serve a purpose, but they're also a fun way to give a treat. So I really like our Purina Dental Life treats. They're scientifically proven to reduce plaque and tartar buildup. It's not gonna erase everything here in you know, Emma's mouth, but it's certainly gonna help to slow the progression and, and might actually give her a little uh, paw up, if you will. Sure. Um, what else do you recommend to your clients? I think especially for Emma here, she may take a while to get acclimated to brushing, but for a puppy, I think it's a wonderful idea to desensitize them to having their teeth brushed on a regular basis. Yeah. I think if you build that foundation early on, it'll save you a ton of money, and from her having to go under general anesthesia down the road. Yeah, perfect. And then there are other diets if you wanna to talk to your veterinarian. Um, I know there are some that are specifically designed to help with plaque and tartar buildup, but again, like we said on some other episodes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure.